Welcome to El Pass, the first ascension. Session 42. A new friend and old histories. Now let's begin. A tale of chaos. Hello and welcome. This is Nat Chaos, where we spend an hour and a half procrastinating, not going to sleep, and playing some D&D. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel and podcast. Then follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for updates and teasers. And finally, join the Chaos community. Links in the description below. Um, unfortunately, I won't be sharing music today, so I keep you're going to be having to add all the music this time. <laughs> Quick recap. Actually, long recap, because um, it's been two weeks. We recorded a one-shot, um, which we'll be pub uh, publishing sometime when we finish it. Uh, super exciting stuff, um, but we forgot Parker, a lot of the things from nails? this kid. Who? Did Parker, did you paint your nails? Oh, yeah. Big <gasps> excited. Pretty. Right? I want to paint my I really want to paint my nails. I don't know what Recap. Um, <laughs> last session, like a month ago now, I just closed my notes. Great. Uh, the Kato party are still in the dungeon, hoping to retrieve the bodies of Andy's friends. Along the way, the party has learned of a ritual that will allow the Obrits to empower the Demiurge, also known as Yaldabaoth, um, allowing the deity to regain its power and take down some of the lesser deities. Um, to keep exploring the dungeon, the party decides to split. Yusuf and Drukir, um, go back to where they came from and encounter the giant alien worm thing which we now know is called Kyrak who after being befriended allows them to travel through the worm tunnels. After some dungeoneering they reach a giant chamber with several obelisks and several crystals emitting dangerously high levels of heat similar to the ones that they found in the past. Uh, the two Oberiths which they meet there um, greet them and are suspicious of their intentions, but don't seem to attack after very little convincing. On the other side, Zygon studies the map which has been ruined due to the submersion in water and finds the names of several rooms, one of which is the sacrificial room. Um, but spoiler alert, they don't find this uh, room even after they leave. Um, they continue down the tunnels and find a different room. Uh, filled with bodies, but none of them are Andy's friends. The Oberiths there, uh, without hesitation, attack the party, creating walls to trap certain members. After escaping, Yusuf and Jokir come to the rescue, killing the giant chained floating head. Um, with the rest of the Oberiths converging on their location, Bruiser decides to open the portal back to the Nightleaf Inn. Andy takes one more look at the pile of bodies, using mold earth to his advantage, but to no success. Exactly. Drakir drags back... Sorry? Moonleaf. Moonleaf? Yes. Did I say Nightleaf? Oh, that's my bad. Moonleaf in. Um, Drakir drags back the dead Obereth, with which Kyrex sees and says, You killed my father! Um, Back at the inn, Zygon gets drunk and is comforted by Bruiser and Jakir. Yusuf and Laren have a conversation about fates and deities. Um, Laren mentioning that perhaps, perhaps, the Demiurge isn't out to kill them or the world. They also wonder about Zygon's deity, so they decide to go up to the second floor of the inn. Um, along the way, they encounter a spider with a ga gas-like appearance, which lands in front of them, signaling the trial of deception. Is assumed to occur. Sorry, that was really long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but we continue the chaos here <clears throat> at the second floor. Um, Yusuf just realizing what this yes. means. Um, but I'm not sure if he's I'm mentioned Yusuf. anything about it. Yusuf, brave more. I can speak in accents. Whoa. Okay, this is in a while. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Oh no. Laren definitely like noticed it before, right? The spider, yes. Okay. Oh well, I guess we're gonna have uh, uh, some company soon. Uh. Right. Uh, do we need to get that sorted right now? Well, not necessarily. I don't think like last time like this happened. It's not like something massive was gonna happen again. I don't know. <coughs> um, wait, have you? Have, 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 wait, were you here for the last time, or do you have no idea what this is? I don't. I don't think I have. Oh, any. okay. Pretty much. You you remember that one like spider girl who tried to like kill us, right? My sister. 
No, never mind. There was a spider girl who tried to kill us, my sister. Um, and <laughs> Ooh, family, family. Problem. Oh, she was there. <laughs> oh, I Sarah, was there. remember? No, oh, not. God, I have Sarah, a terrible yeah, you memory. Told me you know this. No, 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 I, I don't I... think she was. She was out with the old man. Oh, no, okay. no, no, this, maybe. This was, um... But anyways, yeah. So this this whole like, was it, trial was this, thing uh, with Lulz when when and... Felix. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Okay, Felix. I was there. Felix. Yes, I remember. <laughs> oh, no. Trying to remember but, yeah. our notes. Well, I, I'm I going through least... my notes right now. This is going to be go another ahead, go trial, ahead. I guess. Uh, I believe the one of deception. So, it, what's the first it's trial? It's definitely not right now the best time to have that, especially when we're gathering information. But. It's something to look out for, at least. We tried killing this thing, but I don't really think we can get rid of these spiders. They're just kind of here. But I also don't know to what extent they act as a spy almost for Loth, too. Is Loth all seeing now with us? Or can we really hide any information? I don't know. We'll have to see. Uh, assuming that Loth put the spider here, I think that that it doesn't matter regardless of whether or not the spider was here to begin with. You're not wrong. But I mean, just, it's something to consider. Later on, I don't know how private our conversations are, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. It'll, 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 it'll come up eventually. I think we have a lot of other pressing matters at the moment, perhaps, maybe. Well, I actually don't remember what we we're going for, but yes. Um, <laughs> whatever we're doing in our adventure, I think that would be pretty helpful to put it on the back burner for now. <laughs> <laughs> um, Great to it, yes. I'm, I, I remember, I mean, aren't we outside. trying to save, are we, aren't we trying to save Andy's friends or at least uh, yes, do something that is with what the, doing. take away the bodies for the ritual that's happening in like two days? Oh uh, yes, thank you for I, reminding I me with my keen mind that I would totally know. Yes. <laughs> two days? <laughs> <laughs> Two days. Good, good, um, good. Yes, yes. Okay. Um. But yeah. I. Yeah. Anyways, where were we? Uh, exploring random stuff. Uh, uh Zygon, Yes. <laughs> yes, we were going. Where's Zygon? Where are we? <laughs> we're in we? your room. You're on the second floor, going into floor. his room. Okay. Um, I mean, going in. Larry and I's room. Yeah. Knock. Or I'm just gonna. Wait, what? Oh, right. Bruiser, give me the, the, the goddamn barrel of alcohol. I don't think I should do that, Zygon. Why not? It's a I believe you've done enough idea. damage as it is. It's a perfectly fine idea. Not to your liver. <laughs> you know, unless someone's at the door. Can you answer it? I'm too Hello? Busy. And then my my no phone. Come in. Hey friend. Okay, I guess Bruiser Bruiser goes to, to answer the door. Oh, hi. Um is is Zygon over here? Uh hi. Um, Yes. Oh, do, oh, oh. do we normally employ such formalities when visiting each other? I don't really know at this point. <laughs> I, I, I guess sure. I, like I don't know what he's doing in this room. I'd better not. Um <laughs> I, I am in here with True. him. I was going to say yeah. this is my room as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, cool. Hey. So cool. You're back. Oh, hi. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so back was, to the was, conversation. Was Bob, Can yeah, I have my alcohol? I don't think so. Oh, he's like, been drinking. Not even like a, uh, another two cups. You can have this glass and Bruiser hands him a glass of water. It's not. I smell the glass. Does it smell of alcohol? Um, make a perception. perception check with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> That's a three plus eight. That's an 11. No. <laughs> it smells what you think is alcohol, but it's probably just coming from you at this point. I take a sip. Is an alcohol. But it's good for you. He's not wrong. 
I go back and put a cup nicely on the table and then lie on And my Bruiser bed. turns to the camera and goes, it's important to stay <laughs> hydrated. <laughs> Character <laughs> development? Yeah. Fourth wall broken? Mm. But anyways, so again, Laren and I were just like chatting and everything, but we were wondering, do you have a deity? Like as a cleric and all, like, like do you have a god or something that you like pray to or channel you your like powers you from? Hear, you hear him stop groaning and he like lifts his head up and his demeanor changes from like why why am i getting notifications wait hold up <laughs> he has like <laughs> internal <laughs> notifications oh, that's what's happening in this hold on one second <laughs> your god has contacted you <laughs> we're all kind of just getting back in to it right now oh, no. okay i just realized <laughs> the spiders are literally just notifications from wolf you're not um, wrong. <laughs> you see him, his oh. demeanor changes from like that drunken stupidness to like sort of his nearly sober self. <sighs> Ladies are a joke. They're not there to protect you. Or to show faith. This guy gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Although... Just... Wait, is Joe here? <laughs> are we all here? Jakir is in this room. Oh, so we're having Although, like a, me a meeting? It's a war room. You know, I never thought of you as one of my people, Zygon, but you know, we are real brothers in arms. He starts to like get up from the bed and like he starts to sway. Is there a window in the room? Oh, yes. And You're gonna dramatically look out the window? No, he's just gonna lean against the window. He's still here. Somehow. He should be asleep. For all I know. But they're a joke. Mm -hmm. Why do you want to know so badly? Oh, we're just curious. We're, we're just trying to learn stuff, I guess. Curiosity cause... kills a cat. Yes, and the cat can be revived. No. I don't think so. Okay. On another note, um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I kind of have a big spider on my shoulder now. Um, just a I little mean, warning. We've seen bigger. You're not wrong. We've um, seen much bigger. I have a small spider on my shoulder. Is this um, a spider from that? Yeah, it's a different one, so I'm guessing it's another trial. Um, but just. Something also, to watch Zach, out for. In, in my drunken state, I'm gonna cast sending. Oh. Okay. When and you cast sending, do you say the words out loud, like, or do you have it like, is it like mental, like? Yes. Do but we, I'm, gonna, okay. I'm gonna mutter. I'm gonna not say his name out loud, but I'm gonna send it to a friend. Hmm. To who? Hello, birdie boy. I'm. I'm drunk. I need a break. Come to the Moonleaf Tavern tomorrow. Got things to talk about. Hurry. Well, that was some tea. And then, um, as he as he finishes the spell, he um, at the end of the spell, like the words coming out of his mouth, mm. he just knocks onto the window and just sends it off. Okay. Um. Anyways, um. What time is it exactly, Zach? It is now about ten thirty. Oh, okay. Um. I think we should start maybe retiring for the night. I can start maybe working on that thing that Zagan wanted me to make. Oh, um, right. The thing is sort of... What do I need to roll for that? Like, I'll, I'll just work on it. But mm -hmm. yeah. The thing is a bruiser. The, the, you know, the, the gems. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cruiser, may I take them, please? Sure. And he opens his chest cavity and he just like stands there expectantly. So you have to reach into his chest uh, cavity like awkwardly okay, to get okay. it. Uh, sure. Um, oh, oh uh, okay. There's other things in here, but anyways. Uh, 
There's like cobwebs, other books, you know. Do you have like a spider friend? It keeps it there? like reasonably well maintained, okay, but you do kidding. notice like a big book in there. Big book. Um, I think it's time we go to sleep. Okay, honest. I'll start working on this then. I, I might head over to Felix's place. Okay. Cool. Hold on. Do we have plans oh. for tomorrow? Oh, Maybe. true. And tomorrow Pressing. we shall speak. Uh. We can I can figure that no, out tomorrow. I am but, in no state of mind to think. Um, I would tonight. Like to wait, you would like to do one thing? <laughs> what are you doing? Um, in the room alone. Like I'm assuming when everyone left. In the room alone. Larry, Larry. Larry. <laughs> no, that's the thing. In the room alone, okay, Larry. Okay. I would say. To answer your question. Yes, I do have a deity. His name is Savas. Well, I'm sorry, faith. what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with names. Savras. S-A-V-R-A-S-S. No. It's R-A-S-S. like it says out loud. R-A-S. <laughs> the rest of the party furiously takes notes, pulling out notepads. <laughs> uh, Bring out my notepad on the phone. Remember this. His name, his name is Savras. Him and I were not in a good relationship. He taught me all he needed to know, all, all I needed to know, but yet he was in there to protect. So my trust in him was broken. Was it just one instance or? Throughout my whole time with, with Dark killed. I called. Just never answered. I understand. I. I, I guess I kind of know what betrayal is like. But I'm yeah. not sure. Very big betrayal. And you know that someone's been watching over you? Just know that he wasn't actually watching over you. So what now? Do you, does he even acknowledge your existence? I've tried calling him multiple times. Still no answer. I see. Well, I guess. I don't know what I feel about the gods or whatever DTs or anything. To be fair, I'm not saying that I don't hate the gods. I'm just on a rocky, rocky relationship with this one. Do you believe, or would you consider another DT? Or. Living that faithless life right now. I would say I'll keep trying. He has to wake up someday. I mean, if he isn't awake, I wouldn't be able to heal. I wouldn't be able to protect. Jukir ominously says, "Maybe you should wish he never does." From another room? From another, <laughs> another room. room. <laughs> 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 camera pans over. <laughs> you, do, do you hear that whisper in the wind? The, wow, I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like there was there was something in the wind, but. It, Trust yeah. the digitation. <laughs> it's definitely here. Oh, yeah, it's probably, it's probably just the leaves rustling. Yeah, probably. I admire your perseverance, though. <laughs> it's... I don't wish for all the gods to die. There are some probably good ones out there watching over good people. I guess that's what makes this whole thing we're doing right now important, right? Yeah. 
But I just wish she answered, you know? After all these calls and all these asking for help. Once would be enough. Maybe he'll answer when it matters. I mean, uh, historically, that hasn't been true, but maybe there's a right time. Maybe you're right. Either way, you now know who he is. Well, who I worship to. And then I'm going to pull out a divination card and just put it under the pillow. Uh, I appreciate you trusting me. Good night, Zygon. Good night, and I head to bed. Okay. Is um, anyone else doing anything this night? This is also the last night before Felix heads off to um, <laughs> camp. Cheating uh, yeah, art. Yes, cheating art. Cheating <laughs> art. Okay, so yeah, Yusuf is going back to see Felix. He's going to Put open like the little bag and pop through so you can see him. Yeah. Hello, uh, you doing okay? Um, I'm just worried. I, I'm not comfortable not bringing anything. It feels like I'm naked. Oh, yeah, you can't bring anything over there. I forgot. Do clothes count as things? Am I not? I hope they do. Um, I, I maybe. I should read over the pamphlets. Um. <laughs> oh, but so you, you can't bring anything, you say? Just, or is it just magical stuff? I think it was just magical stuff. Uh, okay. But if I made my clothes with magic, I'll just pack normal I think clothes. It's, yeah, <laughs> it should be fine. But yeah, just we can relax nice and enjoy. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to turn into a dog? I've. Not really, because all the dogs I make are like metal. But if I had like this really True. fluffy poodle um, and call it Rocky, that'd be really cool. I see. Yes. Well, like, I, I guess I never really brought this up before, but like, yeah, I, I got this new spell. It's like polymorph and it's kind of cool. Like you can like turn like into animals and things and I can turn into other like other people to animals. And... You turn into like animals that don't exist or like fictional animals. I... I don't think I've tried that. I definitely have searched up a T-Rex, though, and I've turned into a T-Rex, so maybe? Are those real, though? You're not wrong, but I I'd imagine they would be real. Are dinosaurs um, real? Like, maybe, like, our interpretations of them might be wrong, but I guess if... Hmm. Interesting. What if we always got like the drawings wrong? What if they weren't like True, muscular exactly. buff people? They were, maybe they were just like fat giant penguins. I like that. But like, it's, it's only so curious as to why I can transform into that. So maybe I could transform into something fictional. Do you want to draw up like a little dog or something? Or like some sort of weird animal? I could try. Uh, I'm going to roll a dice for this. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, cool. And his camera's off. Oh, what? <laughs> Very interesting. Uh, failed to start the video camera. Great, thank you. Uh... <laughs> we're off, we're off, we're off so, to a good start. So many it's, it's great things off. happening right now. Yeah, we're <laughs> off to a good start tonight. Um, okay. Um, he draws not necessarily like the poodle that he was imagining, but instead he draws this like you know, you know what teacup pigs are, right? But yes. turn those into like dogs instead. Oh um, my gosh! So teacup pigs don't exist. Teacup just pigs. a PSA: if you buy a teacup pig, they will yeah. go into a normal sized pig because teacup pigs don't exist. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> thank, thank you for that information. <laughs> PSA. Yes. PSA. Got it working. There but there anyways, as I like observe this like little teacup dog. Okay. Um, I guess I'll hey, look at this. Pigs. Uh, let's try it. Um, and I will cast Polymorph on myself okay. in hopes to turn into this teacup dog. Okay. What happens? Can you roll an Arcana check for me? Okay. Please, please, please. 
Okay. That is 13 plus 9. That is a 22. Gotcha. Okay. Um, you transform into like this drawing. He hasn't really colored it in, so you don't really know what the exact color patterns are. It's not the most aesthetic color palette, um, but it, it looks as close to uh, what the drawing looks like. Okay. What you up and like puts you on the. <laughs> and that's not up to me to decide, but he places <laughs> you on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and he has like this like model cap uh, he had twisted, puts like a bit of water and like puts it in front of you to see what you would do with it. Oh, I guess you, you said this is going to go up and like drink from it and stuff and just kind of wag his tail question mark. Does he have a tail? <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> <laughs> that That's pretty cool. <laughs> I wish I could do that, but. <laughs> I'm going to jump out, uh, like I'm going to jump off the counter. Oh, he's gonna try and catch you before you oh, fall to the floor. Yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> turn back. <laughs> okay. But then, oh, okay. Do you want to turn into the dog? Like, I, I can cast this one more time. Um. Maybe you can transform me to whatever you want. Instead of, you know, since I got to pick what you would transform into, maybe you should be the one to transform. Okay, I'm gonna, like, draw up a little picture of, like, a cat with wings. Ooh, okay. um, and then I'm gonna try to polymorph them into it. Okay. Uh, make another arcana check for me. Okay. Okay, this is a 19 plus 9, 28. Okay. Um, it's just exactly as you would imagine it. Um, it's kind of like, uh, it's probably like bat wings. Sorry, my uh -huh. camera just went off again. <laughs> It's... I love it. <laughs> great, good, great, nice. Okay. Uh -huh. um, yeah, pteranodon wings on um, like a Siamese cat. Zach, you have no idea what you've just unleashed. Do you know what? That just what? means I can turn into anything, or I can like make my own little things. Um, yes, but the stats would be very, very. <laughs> it's, That's it's... fair, but yeah. still. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, you think you sir, oh. cares about stats? Yeah, do you really <laughs> think I care about stats? <laughs> You're not wrong. Man, uh, this is so much hard. Here. Okay. We're gonna pet the little cat. Um, okay. Yes. In case I wait, aren't you also still a dog? No, I, I turned no, back. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Um... <laughs> I was just imagining like. <laughs> um, it looks like my. This computer zoom is also dying, so in case I, um, okay. uh, <laughs> you know, just letting you know. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, so where are you heading off tomorrow? Oh, um, that's a good question. I think we're going to keep investigating the dungeon and everything like that and just figure out this whole deity thing. It's a whole mess, but yeah. Also, it turns out we have another wolf thing, so... I'll just kind of gesture to the spider on my side. So we'll, we'll see. And, uh, yeah, I'll. It should be fine though. Do you, do you, do you know what like what type of test it would be? I think it's something with with deception. Thank you, deception. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, okay. Decept deception and lies, specifically. Yeah. But it, it shouldn't be too bad. But we are getting a lot of information and probably going to be meeting a lot of new people. So we'll have to see what happens. But I'll be on guard. <laughs> uh, but, okay. Yeah. Considering yeah. what happened with the, the, the whole Fraz thing, maybe. Yeah. Maybe, it's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it might be best at least that you're going to be watched over in that camp thing. Um, but. What if you got advice from Fred's? What do you mean? Like, I mean, he's he's the Lord of Deception and all. Maybe maybe he could help you I'm, out. You're not wrong. Something. I, I don't know. I'm just I'm just spitballing. Yeah. Like, I, I guess Laren and I talked about that a bit. It's like going into the library for more information because there was a lot of information. I even actually have all of his spells. Uh, that's how I got, I think, the polymorph. No, maybe. No, that definitely was not. Anyways, um, 
but yeah, uh, that's something that's been on our mind. But it's just, I don't know how much I want to go back to Fraz. It's, but if we have to risk it, then maybe. Okay. Uh, yeah, we'll have to think about it. But, anyways, uh, do you want to watch a movie or something, and then I can maybe start working on this little crafting thing that I have to make for Zog again. Ooh, what movie? I have no idea. We can just randomly pick. <laughs> okay. Um, yes. Is there anything else? Uh, anyone? Sorry. Is there anything anyone else wants to do this I'm evening? Good. Okay. I would like to commune with my power source. Okay. You want to commune with commune? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> that, 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 that. Are, uh -huh. are, you, are you saying right now, as we're resting, are you saying right now we will be having this spells that we have for fifth level? Well, I think we rest and then we level up. Yeah, okay, yeah. Never mind. Um, okay. Yeah, Bruiser uh, wakes up the next morning. He's like, oh, I'm feeling particularly indomitable now. <laughs> Interesting. That's what uh, I get at ninth okay. level. So, <laughs> how I does... feel more powerful. So Drakir like draws a bit of like sigils in the air using hand signs and Doctor Strange like stuff, um, <laughs> and in the end he creates like a phone with his hand and puts it up to his ear, and there's a ringing, and. There's an answering. Um, Hi, Kemian's office. What do you need? Um, I was wondering if you've got any tips for what happens on what whatever is going to happen on the day of the uh, fury fairy fire. flowers. Fairy fire. Fairy flower. Uh, fairy fire. Okay. Interesting. Um. So, do you know about like the the frequency theory about like all the different planes and stuff? No. <laughs> Great. Um, basically, um, so people, creatures like live on this one frequency, and all of different dimensions and planes and whatever are like on different frequencies. And all you really have to do is like switch frequencies to get there. Um, that's what happens when you do like dimension door and stuff and all that really cool things. Um, the, they have the fury flowers just because of the, the, the event is when all of these frequencies begin to meet. I, I can't draw it out for you because we're not on like a video call or anything. Um, but, but Zach, all of them Zach, meet. Can you can you draw it out on the point. Zoom whiteboard? <laughs> My zoom is not working, guys. I know. It's literally saying not responding, but for some reason I can hear you and everyone else. I can. You I, I can hear. To, do you want to restart your zoom really quick? Um, after this conversation. Yeah, my, um, mine does this sometimes. You just kind of let it be. Sorry, I'm interrupting. It's annoying. So you're saying that the gods are big. And we're small, but during the fairy fire, the big and small are the same. Not necessarily big and small. Let's just say that it's easier to transfer from one frequency to the other. Cool. <laughs> I love Cookie. Do you have anything I in have mind? I have said intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's 10, actually. I think it's still 8. I think it's oh. still 8. <laughs> Minus 1. Oh, no, I raised it a level 4. No, we're oh. good. We're good. I'm, yeah. a, I'm at a normal person's intelligence. OK. Do you have Are anything you in mind? Sure? He got I, I don't know. <laughs> I experimented with this character template, so I really don't know anymore. But we'll see. OK. Oh, my Zoom's back. Great. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Well, yeah, I guess that's that's like when worship and sacrifices are like the most important time, um, because usually when you're transferring from one frequency to the other, some of that energy is lost. Um, but during this time, it's so much easier to make a complete transfer. So maybe if you've like like had complete like stores of sacrifices or whatnot, it would be easy to transfer all of that energy to whoever from a different plane. Interesting. Is there any possibility that you can hijack another person's, another creature's sacrifices? Probably, if you're lucky enough. 
What's your plan? Interesting. <laughs> if you're lucky, you say. Don't let me rule for it. Well, it's it's. I think getting the energy is not too difficult. You just have to intercept it. The issue is retaining that energy. Like creatures that are not in a of a divine status um, don't have the body, the physicality to be able to maintain that. So they'll probably have it for maybe a minute, unless it destroys them. But they'll have it for a minute. Huh. That's cool. Okay. We just pass it around. <laughs> now, Anyways. what if we did a gay Guardians of the Galaxy type deal where we all hold hands? Um. Um. Honestly, maybe it'll work. Maybe just <laughs> one person would work. I. I think it's all, it's, it's all, it's all just how much, like, constitution you have, you know? I see. Thank you. This is very helpful. Okay. Well, call whenever you need me. Um, Josh, I want to ask, do you have a level 20 version of Jukir at the ready? I do. Okay, cool. We are <laughs> moving on. Can I turn people into squishmallows? <laughs> I, I just had that epiphany. Like, can I like have my little plague doctor squishmallow as a person? I mean, if can it's living and it has abilities, sure. <laughs> Actually, that, no, can I, I clarify for a second? Did you just say that if a person attempts this, they'll melt? Or if they don't relinquish the power after a minute, they'll melt? Uh, that wasn't too clear. I see! He also <laughs> said, if it doesn't destroy you. Yeah. Also, I, think, like, it, I think we should use the power of friendship. I, it, also, it also says, That's if you don't have a divine body, it'll hurt even more. So really... Which is it? Um, I don't want to say anything, but like, then don't Jakir say has anything. like other stuff. <laughs> What if what if we all hold hands because we don't have the other shit that Zach is planning for? Everybody except Joker does. <laughs> yes. So it's a um, it's a choice. It's gonna be a cool choice, but we'll see. What if you make hold hands with the dragon? Yeah. What if you make all the NPCs hold hands with me? <laughs> <laughs> Or, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Rowan, come here. Yeah. <laughs> Why is this a plan? I really zoned out at the point. I wish you. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll explain later. Okay. Anyway, um, um, Jakir is going to do this. You know, like he is going to. It's just a question of who's going to hold his hand. Jakir, I want to let you know that I actually planned for this because I know it's a great big possibility. So. Don't fear. <laughs> That's good. It's not yeah. like asking a question. I don't, what Nathan is asking. The a holy question. favor, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So for the crafting thing, I have I a whole crafting guide, and I don't remember how to use this. Shoot. <laughs> I gave you. I gave you four. I give you two crystals. One blue. One topaz. Which one do you want me to use? Both. It says at least one. I want you to do. Oh, okay. You get okay. both. What rarity um, is it? It's common. common. Okay. It's so one hundred like PP. Yeah, oh, that's not gonna be that bad. Yeah. yeah, that's that's not bad. Okay, but should I just roll? I guess my D twenty and see yeah. what happens. We're gonna use a fancy this. That's fun. Um, that is a seventeen plus okay. my proficiency rights. Uh, mm -hmm. that's four, so twenty one. Yeah, that passes, and then you make okay. a. The D one hundred. Yes, sir. Oh, watch me roll a one. I feel like that'd yes. be funny. Um, seventy four. Yeah, that's definitely over, right? Yeah. Okay. You're yeah. good. I just needed to get ten, right? Because it's like a, yes. Yeah. Okay. It, it's made. <laughs> While watching some random movie, which we won't discuss. Um, <laughs> it's fantasy Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, love Christ. But with animals? No, <laughs> no, 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 no
<laughs> going so well. It We're is now so the morning. Um, please cut that. Yeah, we will. <laughs> uh, future Akeem, please cut that. Um, Laren, make a perception check for me. You have chlamydia. Uh, ooh, natural <laughs> 20. Uh, nice. You hear a uh, out, outside the window. Uh, can I go check what, like, can I get a better vantage point as to, like, where I think it is? You're also just... Are you just, like, opening the window and, like, looking down, or what are you doing? Wait, what? What? what I hear a flap, like, a flapping thing? Yeah. Um, like, probably a medium-sized window... creature. Does the window have, like, a curtain or something? Um, or is it just a window? It's probably like a window, but with curtains. But the the, the curtains are open, just to let sunlight in. Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll just try to like keep my head down, but try and check it out. Okay. Claren goes back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, that's an in character thing. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> make an investigation check with disadvantage, just because you're trying to hide while you're looking out. <laughs> That is not good. Um, two. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Plus zero. Nice. <laughs> there is nothing outside, um, aside from the beautiful sunrise. It is quite early in the morning. No idea. This thing was apparently really loud to cause you to wake up. Oh, it's probably just the wind. I go back to sleep. As you turn around, <laughs> uh, the door has been opened. In front of you is a an aircockra. Oh, good. We love these boys. Okay. Hey, no. The, the, the ones that you actually hate are the Kenku, not the aircockra. <laughs> that's a there's a difference in that. Wait, what? What did? What is this? There's, there's just this man standing at, or this bird boy standing at the door. Bird boy. What do you do? <laughs> you're like, presumably in your pajamas and all. <laughs> then, so the door to our room is open, and there's just a man standing there. Yeah, and you observe him, and he appears to be of some like pirate slash monk occupation. Um, that's, that's like his outfit choice. is like that. Yeah, it is a quite a choice. This is giving me rapey vibes, though. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, so uh, I just look at him and get, uh, go back to bed. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> go back to bed. <laughs> oh God, no. Uh, am I? Am I in the room? You, you are asleep in the room. Oh. Um, I just asked, can I help you? I'm here for Zion. Oh, <laughs> wait. Oh God. Um. What, uh, like, what do you want to do? Clearly, he needs. Clearly, he needs a break from all the idiots. Where, where are you taking Zygon? Home. Where he really needs to be. Uh, I'm gonna move over to where Zygon is and stand between the two of them. Oh, Laren, you really don't want to do that. I don't know who you are. I flash I the ropes to the monastery of Ascension. Okay. What are you doing here? Bringing him home. He's the one who called me yesterday. Where exactly is home? North Haven. Uh. I'm not lying. How do I know I can trust you? I'm a friend of Zygons. Ready, boy? You heard him yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna slowly move towards him. Mm-hmm. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh god. Okay, no. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna slowly move towards him, like close the distance halfway. Can I see anything? Uh. Like, can I see if he's armed with anything else, or...? He's armed with this, um... Medium-range weapon. Uh... I, I think Hakeem, Hakeem can, like, 
it's not out, Zach. So really, I'm not armed. Oh, okay. Okay. You just you just see a normal Eric Hawker with his bracers on. Um. I really am not gonna hurt him. He called me yesterday to bring him home. Really. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and hit him. <laughs> okay. Not Hopefully on, just hit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> just, just hit. Just straight hit. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah. Talking out. Yeah, yeah, roll for a hit. Okay. <laughs> just double checking. <laughs> Uh, uh, oh god, oh god, what do I add to that? Uh, first one is a dirty 20. Is this animal abuse? Second mm -hmm. one is an 18. The second one is What? Bad. You rolled well? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just have a good bonus. The second, the second one doesn't one hit? Nope. Okay, so first one hits. Uh, uh, that's 10. Okay. Uh, <laughs> stunning strike. <laughs> Love it. Oh wait, did we get a long rest? I just realized. Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Oops. You did. Hold on, give me a second. Dirty give twenty. One second. Dirty okay. twenty. That saves. Okay. Uh, in but, that case, uh, like nothing happens. Uh, the air cocker is like pushed back on the shoulder where you hit him, um, and. You you feel slightly impressed, uh, by but by what this young monk can achieve. Learn well, learn really well. Though I don't have time for games, I do need to bring him home. Need less worried about him. Probably good for him to go home and see his friends. Are you going to still try and stop me? Is I going to wake at this point? Am I awake at this point? Um, no. When I not wake up from the sound of punching? <laughs> a punch can go from two. Oh, wait, no, we used to plan back to <laughs> Also, don't I wake up as early as I you, to wake up before Laren? You were drunk. <laughs> Good point. I forgot about that point. <laughs> anyway. So I gave him a glass of water. <laughs> the, the yeah. Sure, the anyway. glass of water will make him wake up like a minute earlier than he's supposed to. Yay! <laughs> anyway. Um, do I know how far everyone else's rooms are from us? Uh, Y'all are like right beside each other. You could also wake him up. Yeah, you could just wake Zagan up. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna not turn my back towards the... I can't pronounce it. Uh, yeah. Eric Cockra. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Word. And I'm gonna try to wake up Zygon. But I'm still standing between the two of them. Um, he slowly comes to, still clearly in a hangover. Five more minutes. Zygon. It's time to go. It's time to go, Zygon. And you see Zygon slowly, like, wake up as if he was jumped on by someone. Um, Zygon, oh. do you know this man? You're here early. Well, yeah, he's less worried about you, so is the rest of the town. I think it's time for you to go home. And also, you did call me yesterday. Yeah, I guess I did. He's gonna get up, put on his mask. Don't be too hostile to them. Huh, and okay. So you do know each other. And I take a step back. <laughs> Yeah. And slightly embarrassed that I tried to punch this person. I mean, she started it, and she, she did give me a good punch. You seem like, um, kind of sighs as he reaches the door. You're not going to say goodbye to the rest of your friends? Larry, I'm going to be gone for a bit. This whole thing is just... Not going to tell everyone else? They're going to persuade me to stay. Who 
Bruiser, no. Press. Ashley. Maybe just Bruiser. Really. <laughs> Please, at least say goodbye to one of your other friends. I'm gonna be hearing you the whole time in here. Fine. I go over to Bruiser's room. Give a small little knock. Bruiser opens the door immediately, having heard you, like, kind of step down the hallway and being in, like, you know, his half-sleep mode. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that an attack on Titan reference? Shinzo <laughs> Sasagiyo! Okay. Um... Uh, Bruiser, <laughs> Bruiser opens the door um, and says, You're up early. Yeah, I am. And I think there's no easy way to put this. Watch over that, will you? Uh, are you leaving? Just for a bit. How long is a bit? Until I can get myself back together. You saw you you saw me yesterday. The last few weeks. Uh, I mean, Tygen, we're your friends. We're here to help you. I don't. Are you sure? I give Bruiser a pat on the shoulder. Sure. You <laughs> reach up and give Bruiser a pat on the shoulder. I mean, we're nearly the same height. Nearly. His shoulders are probably taller. Just let this happen. two feet. <laughs> watch, watch over them. And my friend here, and I point over to the Arakaka. He'll be here to watch over you guys. For not fucking up too much. I'll send. I mean, he can't send. replace you. He's not replacing me. He just will take my space for a bit. Besides, I can't replace an alcoholic if I'm not an alcoholic myself. I just, I'm worried about you. I'm going back to North Haven. If that's ever, if you ever need me. You're still going to have a phone, right? I will. I'll use... I'll get my phone on my own. I'll be sending you a message about getting your phone. Alright. Just... I'll be gone for a bit. I don't... I don't think this is a good idea, but... I can't... If you think this will help you... It's better. I'm not any help here anyway. And I give Bruiser a small little hug before waving, waving goodbye. Bruiser looks as upset as a robot can look. It's like dim lit eyes or whatever. Um, Sorry. As he, as he lives, as he leaves, he will say. Wait. <laughs> You can be upset with me all you want. I'm to blame. For now, I really do need a break. Before Zygon leaves, I run up and give him like a, a solid hug. Just like a hug and pat type hug. Just like You too. Stay safe out there. You watch over them. And also his name is Creek. Can you spell that? <laughs> I, I heard this. I heard Craig. <laughs> yeah. Like Creek? Like a, a water? Oh. oh my god. <laughs> and you can just hear, you, know, you can hear Creek just cooing and like, 
Huh? Huh. Just looking at a room. <laughs> Sorry, I had to check. <laughs> Please don't don't butcher my other characters. I love Craig. <laughs> Craig is so great. Oh. You literally made me make you a necklace and you're not even gonna get it or some bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Uh, okay, to be fair, I'm getting emotionally okay, draining from playing Zygon. <laughs> okay. Um I'm gonna say it slowly everyone else gets up. Uh is there Are you gonna say goodbye to Phoenix or is he just sitting out or that's what I was gonna ask if there's there's anyone doing anything this morning. Um, I'm gonna give Felix a little kiss before I head back. Um, cause he can bring his little ring too and stuff, so he should be fine. Yeah, his his the, the ring isn't magical, so that's right. Yeah. Well, you, you take goes, care there. I'll see goes, you soon. He goes to the camp and, the, and the ring becomes magical. Yeah. If anything, <laughs> like if anything happens, at least maybe I can ask a Zygon to like cast sending to contact you or something. What might work out? I don't know. But, yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll 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 see. Um, but yeah. wait, how long is this camp again? It's about a week. Oh, okay, that's not bad. Well, a lot can happen in a week, but like it's fine. Um, <laughs> um I should start heading back. I think we have a busy day ahead of us. Uh, we gotta talk with the group about what we're gonna be doing next and all, and I need to go dig in his uh, bracelet that I made last night. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful bracelet, so hope he appreciates it. Oh yeah, uh, hopefully he does. Um, he did also spend like all the time getting all the materials and stuff, so yeah. Um, and then he gives you a tight hug and gives you a kiss in his forehead, and then he picks up his giant backpack. Um, <laughs> And Are we talking himself? about hiker giant backpack? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Jesus. He's yes. he's prepared. All of those is non magical stuff. He's not sure. Maybe half of those will be like, oh, you can't bring that. So is, he'll is have the other half. <laughs> I'll just like slip yeah. a little note into his bag. Where it's like, I love you. Um, but he'll he'll make see a that slide of head check. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm bad at those. I have a jar with like. <laughs> yes. Okay. Jars. Um, it was a nineteen. Plus one. Dirty oh, one. okay, okay, okay. He doesn't notice. So. Okay. Okay. Then I'll jump back to the bag, but yeah. Okay. I guess I'll keep the bag open when he's there. Okay. Like if he's On leaving the bag of all rights. On yeah. his side. Mm hmm. On his side. Yeah, because I can't really do anything with yeah. it. Like, yeah. So I guess it'll be open, but yeah. okay. Mm, uh, I guess you can't take the bag of all through the bag of all. That well, would could, destroy actually. the whole thing. No, no, you can't. But like, well, I mean, like, I can, as long as it's not inside, like, I, I can do the whole teleporty weird thing. But yeah. Yeah, but you're bringing the bag of all with you. Yeah, no, but I need to, what's it called, just keep it here for now. But yes. Okay. Um, anyone else doing anything aside from the continental breakfast? Oh, uh, definitely going to set some ground rules with Creek. Because if we're going to be roommates, I guess. <laughs> Have a go. Lauren's like, don't wake me up before 10. <laughs> this is your side of the room. This is my side of the room. I think I got that much, Lauren. Are you going to introduce yourself to everyone else? or do When you... everyone else is awake. So far, it's just a robot. Oh. Do you wow. want to introduce yourself? With an intro oh, that doesn't recognize robot? the robot? Hello, robot. My name is Creek. Q R I C. <laughs> <laughs> Robots just, just need to know the spelling exactly. <laughs> Simon is B R X 962. Nice to meet you, B R X. Okay. Uh, you can call me Bruce. Sure. Okay. I have no idea. There's, there's <laughs> like, like, there was a tension in the room, and I <laughs> stepped in between them. So like, hey, why don't we wake up the others? Yusuf will step through the bag now. Okay. Oh, uh, what is happening? 
Um, who is this? Wait, did you just Should leave? I... Did you... Are, are you just in this room also? Well, the bag is with like whatever room were you in? We're in, remember? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very <laughs> accurate. Uh, uh, Continuity. Who, who is this? Uh, just. Uh, I finished Sagan's bracelet, by the way. Um, Laren, is he up already? Well, why don't you give it to him oh, over sure. there, seeing as he's Sagan's replacement? Not oh. replacement, per se. What? The name's Creek, a friend of Sagan's. How do you spell that? <laughs> <laughs> He's a friend of yours. Very immature. Ah. But hello. Um, well, it's nice to meet you. Uh, is, so is Zygon just gone, or? Zygon's gone. Say break. goodbye? Or, oh. He needed a break from all the idiots. I see. He would say that. Hmm. It's kind of unfortunate that he was leaving right now when we're about to do some big things, but I, I can understand it, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, so, do you want to take the bracelet, or should I just save that, or I, I don't know if you benefit from it? No, not very much. I, I, I'll, I'll just keep it on me, then. Um, sure, I'll, I'll give it to him next. Do, do you have, like, a postal, like, like, do, does he have an address that I can send it to in the mail? He's um, on the way. He's on the way to North Haven, the city in okay. Novell. That's where he's from. That's where Do I'm. Do you from. have an address? Do you, uh, <laughs> do I know the? Uh, do I know what address is? This <laughs> house. This is never stated in canon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> give me a random street in North Haven. Just, Akeem, just use your address right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just why don't you use the change? <laughs> why are you doing that? <laughs> Give us your social security number at, while you're at it. Like, please. Your credit card number? Oh, we, yeah. can just, we can just send it to the Greenhouse Tavern in North Haven. That's, okay. where, that's where he'll be working for the next few days. Relax. House. Tavern. Okay, I'll send that in the mail then, I guess. Uh, as I did with my other jewelry stuff. Um, but yeah, I, I guess we can start gathering everyone and we can talk about what we need to do. Um, are you in the loop in terms of what's happening? Or do we have to like go back and explain everything and the danger we're in? I'm a quick learner. You're what? I'm a quick learner. I can probably pick up the contact clues. Okay, okay. Um, sure. I'm just gonna kind of go to the side of the wire and just kind of like scoot away. Um, do we trust? Oh, by the way, I'm Yusuf. Uh, it's nice to meet you. Um, do we do we trust him? Uh, do Do you know much about him? Did he just kind of show up or? Yeah, he kind of just showed up, but I think he might know a, a lot more than we do actually that, that, that's fair I, yeah i, I just so don't know it's we should definitely loop him in or at least you know whatever you guys are comfortable if with. zion trusts him at least then hopefully it's fine um hopefully he doesn't hate me too uh, i feel like that'd be very problematic if we already like resolve that and then it's gonna be a whole other thing that we have to resolve but we're, let's just not bring it up Zygon? um huh oh zagan no, you. Creek. I don't know. Like, if, if like Creek also uh, hates uh, Corvus or not. So uh, we're just gonna that on that the down low. Are you asking no, no, that no, 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 no. Cool. Because <laughs> um, I, I already have a response to that. Yeah. Um. Yeah. We're not. We're not going into that right now. No, it's not a response you're thinking of. So I, I guess. Do you guys? We can like get Joe here, and I don't know if Andy is still in his little comatose state, but um, we can we can just kind of meet up and talk okay because also we need to bring up what we were talking about Laren before nudge nudge remember i think andy's like canonically in the bathroom still getting ready for the day yeah <laughs> and he's just Urban going to do it for a couple of hours <laughs> give him a couple of hours by the time uh, we get by the time we get back oh you guys already went out without me no. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs>
Um, breakfast. Uh, breakfast. Breakfast. Does anyone um, anything important? Anyone doing? Uh, I think Bruiser goes down and gets like a full plate of food. Okay. Bruiser, hi. How and then you? just kind of sits there with it. Maybe he like cuts up his waffle a little bit. Oh. Puts butter on it. <laughs> Puts butter on it, yeah. And then the next person Bruce. who comes down is getting his full untouched plate. Bruiser, do you do you want to eat? Uh, I I could maybe turn you into something that eats, and you can try food if you'd like. I don't know if you've eaten before. Um, I, I just I'll I was thinking because like I started experimenting with, with like polymorph recently and. I suppose, I mean, where would the... I imagine it would be quite uncomfortable if I polymorphed back. Yeah, I, I'm not really too sure how it works, yeah, but we can give it a try if you'd like, but... What happens to the things inside his cavity chest? Yeah, uh, I'm... That's, I'm so that's a, there's a lot of good questions here. <laughs> that's a bit worrying. Does this bruiser have like a little hole at the? Uh, like it, I'd imagine it just kind of like like goes into his form too, because like for the wild shape, that's kind of how it works with like the armor and all. Yeah, but I don't think that's how Polymorph works. I don't know. I, I think I'm all right. Okay, just let me know if you ever want to try that. Um, Do you want some waffles? Uh, sure. The waffles. He just hands you his whole plate. Oh, oh, oh okay. And sits there politely with his hands folded. Thank you. Um, do you want me to describe what they taste like, or...? That's all right. I have a fairly good idea from their chemical structure. Okay, okay. That's understandable. Um, I guess I'll just be there sitting down, eating. I guess I'll conjure out in like a little squish mat, like squish mat, I'm just kind of vibe in there. Um, you know, waiting for everyone else to return to the table. Uh, okay. Um, I guess once everyone arrives at the table, uh, is there any planning that anyone wants to do? Anything that anyone okay. wants to check out for the day? Okay. So, um, Laren and I were talking a lot yesterday and we were like kind of throwing around ideas and we definitely need to get a lot more information about our whole situation. Um, one crazy idea, it's not one that we might particularly like, is so you remember that library? The one maybe in hell? Um, the one it associated- was, It was in hell. Well, please, like- Please, please get it right. The one associated with, you know, Fraz. It's the, it's the abyss, excuse you. Get it right. Abyss, sorry. <laughs> well, we, like, I already was able to get a lot of information about like spells and everything over there in the abyss, but what if that might contain a lot more information that Fraz knows? Like, oh, he has been involved in like every step of this process. If the information's still there and whatever place is left, maybe we can get a glimpse of information about the situation. I suppose that would be our best bet in terms of sources at the moment. It's not um, like the libraries up there really have much on it. Yeah, because, uh, well, I don't really know too much what we know, but like with maybe Craig here, or no, Creek. There we go. <laughs> 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 maybe. Oh, yeah. Just like, uh, like, maybe we can get some lunch. more information. Oh, uh, by the way, Creek, yeah, there's this whole situation with, like, a deity coming back or something in, like, two day, one day. Um, but then there's also this whole thing about different, like, gods and the planes of emotion and just Fraz, the big demon lord, has been involved in all this. I know the, I know the planes of no, I know the deities. Okay. What do you want? Oh, that's a good question. There's a lot of actual questions that we have. Um, does anyone want to go first? How much? Shakir floats down, having awoken. He's still in team post. He relates what happened while he was communing with his god. He does oh. not seem to 
the new person because he's very oblivious. <laughs> and also he's floating slightly above the ground. Oh, uh, hi. Good morning. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Do, do you know, actually, I have a big kind of question. Do you know about, like, wealth and all that? Or do you not know about no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Um, that was, it was just... Specific. Specifics. Okay. Um, anyways. Uh, oh, I guess, question. Didn't, weren't we trying to find, like, maybe a plane of emotion dragon or some sort of dragon thing to bring people back? Right? We, we definitely mentioned, Zygon definitely mentioned something, or people mentioned something. Oh, Rowan you know pipes anything? up at that point. Ro <laughs> Rowan's here! Hey, Rowan, 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 Rowan is here! Rowan. Hi, Rowan! How are you? Oh my god, good morning! Initially, initially, I was wondering why you didn't just ask me about all of, like the different other planes, but... Uh, I guess that's okay! Not like I'm the smartest person here. Um, just, wow. just like, Rowan, what's your constitution score? My constitution? What is a constitution score? Would you like to hold hands with me? <laughs> Not now, later. Um, you, that's a child. Are you just here. asking for my consent? Is that what's happening? Uh, uh, I, I just think that you would be very strong if we if we survived a god transformation. Okay, I think I'm going to have to fucking stop. Clearly. clearly. Jokir explains that it is possible to hijack really? whatever prophecy that we were discussing. Clearly, I see it's that you are the most intelligent out of all of them. Uh, well, really? I, I, being being like an energy explorer, maybe I can help with that transfer of energy. Um, you're if the I could... best, Rowan. You're you're better than any other character in this campaign. Oh, wow. Oh. Okay. I see how it is. You don't love Yusuf, huh? <laughs> you my weekend. I'm sorry. Can Yusuf transfer energy to me and let me fear like 20 more people per day? No. <laughs> nope. Soon. I can make maybe. You cats. <laughs> You're... Make all of the cats hold hands. Okay. Um. Yes. What are What are we wondering about? Uh, um. Uh. I'm, I'm gonna ask Creek, uh, how much do you know about the Demiurge? Well, I assume they have they caught me up with recent events? I'll say that they have. They went into the temple of the Demiurge, correct? That's not really... They did. I didn't. That's not really the temple of the Demiurge. I hope you learned that soon after. You know that much. I'm from actually. I won't say that. I will say that I'm the, I'm from the same monastery as Ben over there. So the demiurge is actually one being that will want to help, but there are people who are worshiping a false demiurge, and those people came from our monastery. They were kicked out. Was the real Demiurge yelled about, or is the fake Demiurge yelled about? I <laughs> fake Demiurge. So, what if we told the real Demiurge? Is that a thing that we can do, or is that just dumb? I'm I'm gonna step in here. <laughs> I'm gonna step so in you here. You wanna wake up another powerful deity in order to inform him that he's being disidentified? Yeah, I don't think that's cool. I think the demi the real demiurge is pretty unchill. To he can chill with me because I'm a celestial, but the rest of you guys will be kind of fucked. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna step Wait. in here and um, explain better. <laughs> um, the there is only one demiurge and one Yaldabaoth. They're one and the same. But uh, there has been a separate entity which is being worshipped by the monks who were kicked out. Um, I think I think that's the, the wording that I mentioned specifically. So the temple we went to was the one for a fake Yaldabaoth, who's not actually Yaldabaoth. Yeah. Correct. Interesting. Okay. 
So we need to look more into this fake entity, maybe. If I didn't, I didn't, I didn't really specify because I didn't want to tell them at all. But okay. Also, I don't want to get water. It's cold. It's dark outside, and I'm scared. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay. I will suffer with no water. Interesting. Um. Okay. So we have that, but what were we doing again with the whole dragon thing, right? With like trying to revive Andy's friends. Was that the plane of I the think... emotion dragon? Um, oh. Okay. Well, initially we wanted to. Uh, what do you call this? We want to get the bodies and try using true resurrection, which Shoen should be getting by now. Um, but I said that in case that doesn't work, then perhaps we could make a bargain with you know the emotion dragon. So. How powerful is this emotion dragon? Like, I mean, oh. it's a dragon deity, so sure. your choice. <laughs> okay. Um. So, what type of bargain are we talking about? Like, I don't know. I wasn't the one in touch with um, that dragon specifically. Agile would help, but we're yeah. probably also going there to help. Well, you guys are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So what we're, I'm hearing is. If we wanted to get to the Emotion Dragon, we'd need Agile, but then we want the Emotion Dragon to help Agile, so we're kind of at an impasse right now. Um, unless we find another way, of course, but... I mean, technically, you really only need, like, three proper memories, um, which was easy enough since there were three other explorers, but... Um, apparently, the time one is a child, the other one, I don't know where he is, and I'm I'm the only one. So maybe you could get like two memories from the plane of thoughts and emotions. I that would be nice. Hmm. Okay. Point of order. What about this whole thing? Uh, the whole transfer of energy thing that Jokia was talking about. Mm -hmm. If we were like, Joki, what do you want to do with that? Like, do you have any idea? How many days are we away from this, this, the, the, the period? One. Is it like one day? One day. Okay. So tomorrow. Because if we want to do something. Where I need to stand in order to suck that energy. <laughs> so, yeah. The, there was the monk who mentioned something about an obelisk, and that's where the um, energy source is. At least for so the that's good, but it's not just about being at the altar. It's also about saving people. And you know, what would really save people if we murdered this false god. You're not wrong, but do we have the power to do that? <laughs> would you say level twenty paladin with advantage on permanent advantage on any like celestial beings? What is I don't know what that was I, I haven't long. tried killing a god, so I don't know. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, we need to get the information. So at least we have a goal to figure out where this maybe obelisk or this ritual power thing is happening. Um, to do this, we need to get information on where it is, if we want to be there tomorrow. Do we know anyone with connections or that we can... Didn't we see it yesterday? Okay. Oh, is that what we saw? Yeah. Oh, then I guess we just have to get back there. Do we want to... Okay. Is it tomorrow evening or like tomorrow at like midnight or like... Do we know times? We don't really know. Okay. Um, Let's go so in terms, of the in terms of the information we have, I think maybe what if we just try to set up within the place? You know? Uh like, if we can get back into the... Like, we definitely want to dive back into the dungeon, right? Yes. I mean, okay. I guess we're going to have to go back. I, wait, uh, Zach. Mm -hmm. Using mathematics, is mm -hmm. the surface to the... Like, the room of the obelisk less than 500 feet? Let me double check. Using mathematics? <laughs> uh, how many feet do you say? 500. Yes. Okay, so theoretically, wait, uh, is it 20 feet question mark or no? Is that way too small? Like how far from the surface to the place is it? 
It's about from the surface. Yeah. The obelisk is about like 240 feet. Oh shit. Um, it's okay. far. It's far. Okay, so one thing is I can we can make portals, right? But I can definitely get us teleport to the yourself. Ob- teleport yourself 20 feet at a time, and then mold the earth away from no, no. the area. Because I can do you. a, a the, I can dimension door with someone to get all the way in. I can probably bring Bruiser, because I don't think Bruiser, you've been to this room yet. Um, but then, if you open a portal to the so. surface, that means we'll have a portal from down there to the surface already. Correct. And if we can also hide in a corner or something, I can set something up so then we can maybe try to, you know. Get around sneakily. Okay, so if we're trying to still obtain information from Fraz, uh, it should be probably me and whoever has the highest intelligence or cool. speed. <laughs> yeah, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, because I have five charges of moving people at 30 <laughs> feet instantaneously. In terms of, yeah. In terms, In terms of, of also like teleportation stuff and things, I definitely have things, but then I also yeah, have the Yeah, so I think it should probably be me and Yusuf and we just go in, snatch as many books as possible, throw them into Yusuf's bag of holding, and then fucking leave. We what might also up? want Bruiser. Well, I think we can... We definitely need people like at the portal, just in case something happens, and defending it from any potential demons coming through. Yeah, but I think, because we can probably get a long rest in between the morning when we go and the yeah. night when we go. So, okay. it, you can mention Doris out to the portal if we need it, and then we can just fucking eat. You're not wrong. Okay, so I what I'm hearing is, on today, on both sides of the portal. today we're going to the Abyss. We are going to get information as like quickly as we can, come back out, see what we can get, and then after that, if we have time, we'll, we'll, we definitely need to start setting up at the dungeon. And then we can set up in the obelisk room, right? Is that what I'm hearing? We have to kill the spider thing. Remember the spider thing is there. There's a spider thing and another black gross thing. Yeah. I guess, yeah, Jokir and Yusuf recount exactly what they saw down there. Because Also, know, they're friends that. with me for some reason, but they want to like, kill the rest of the house. Yeah. So we, we might need to... We'll, we'll figure it out, but... <laughs> Okay, so, in terms of getting down to the abyss, you can make portals through dimensions, and we've already had portals made within this, real, uh, is it called the rel, rel, huh, words, the R oh. word. Uh, rel- rel- reliquary? Realm? There we go, reliquary, yeah. Um, so, Bruiser can definitely make a portal down there. Maybe just outside, just in case. Because we don't know the state of it, because last time it was all kind of decaying sand, but that was also when he was kind of dying. But Did, did anyone take a book from the library? I did, um, actually. This spell book of his. Um, Would it be possible... I mean, Zach, do, do you think... is that Does that count as like an item from the... You also have yeah. Demon Glass. Demon Glass, true. But like it, in terms of the book specifically, the place, the location. Yeah. I I have an associated object. I should be able to, with some accuracy, possibly get you into the library directly. Okay. Um, Although, in terms of... we aren't sure about the state of the house. That could be dangerous. True. Do we just want to stay from outside, just in case the rooms have shifted or anything like that? All right. Okay. So, I guess here's the plan. Joe, Kier and I dive into the house but then everyone else stands guard at the portal outside just in case there's demons coming out right sure okay craig uh, um are you more of like are you an offensive person or oh oh, creek oh my god (laughs) i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i keep looking at the (laughs) chat and i see like just craig and i'm like bruh but creek nice are you like an offensive person? Do you are you able to fight or? I can hold my ground. I can also okay. fly very fast. Mm-hmm. But yeah, okay. So I guess we have our positions. If anything wrong happens, um, I guess Jokir can at least contact people thirty feet away. But do we have any other means of communication? And I don't know if cellular network works down in the abyss. So. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're not that advanced. 
Well, yeah, but well, we'll figure something. No cell service in the abyss. <laughs> I'll actually. I can just give one of you guys a conjured item, and then if it disappears, I'll or I'll make it disappear. I'll kind of signal as a uh, we're in danger. But yeah. Okay. Um, you guys okay. ready? Okay. Okay. Where do we want to set this? Let me, yeah. Let me get this straight. You're going to open a portal in the inn. We're, we, well, that's what I'm about to say. We're, do we want to <laughs> go outside to like the forest or something to make this portal? I personally think that you should go into the forest, seclude it away from the city, and open it there. That's fair. That's just a, okay. that's just, that's just a personal note. Um, this is not Creek speaking, but Keem speaking. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, let's get out of the inn and do that. Um, okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> I guess I'm rolling a D100. Ooh. Let me share my screen. Oh, and uh, Brewster, okay. the spellbook thing that I was studying before to get Kraz's spells. Shit. Give me a second. Because this is not my computer, and I'm trying to get used to what in the world it's doing. Uh, to think we're going back to Fraz's military. Huh. Okay, I'm going to reroll this. Uh... Okay. That Hella on target. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, um where in the library so are you currently roll, playing? I don't. Oh, do we <laughs> so in the library, um Yeah, because there's currently walk... there's the right side sorry, there's the left side which is all tables, the left side which is I think sorry, tables there's the area would be fine, right? So then there's space. Okay. Okay. So yeah, library teleportation if we use the book. Um you open the portal, um, and Yusuf and Jukir are stepping in. Is that right? I think it's all of us, right? Just um, put them, yeah. they're just standing. I don't guard. know if we want to split up and have like some okay. of us on the inside, some of us on the outside. I think Bruiser like makes his echo and like sends the echo through the portal with you guys at okay. least. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, uh, there appears to be no one in the room. Okay. Um, I guess we just start grabbing books, but remember the whole thing with the floor. Um, watch out for that. You can fly, right? Uh, yes. Here? Okay. Um, yes, I will cast fly on myself too. Um, and I'll just go through just kind of putting books into my bag. Okay. Um, roll a d20 for me. Okay. If there's also anything about like spells and stuff, like anything else that I haven't looked at, I'd look at like to look at that. Sixteen. Do I add anything or no? No. Okay, just sixteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, hey, what, do I roll two? No. Oh, are you we're, also we're getting both, books? Yeah, because yeah, he can so fly. Yeah, also shoveling books into fly. the bag. Okay, just roll a d20 then. Nine. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Um, so you've probably noticed as you're like pulling books that a lot of these books have changed um, over the past how many days you have you, you weren't here. Yeah. Now they're um, all I'll... about house infrastructure and how it's important <laughs> to have a strong foundation. <laughs> that sad. Uh, but they're not actually newer books. A lot of them are now in this ancient script from a language that you no longer recognize. Oh, new language? Yes. Uh, That's fine. Would you be <laughs> able to Wait, make a this? history check for me? Me? Yes. Hey, I like those. Okay, 18 plus 5. 23. Okay. What okay. was comprehension? Okay. All right. You, you've, from your years of study, you've probably recognized this as a language only known as Netherese. It's from a race that no longer exists. Um, for well, that's fun. yeah, from a time cool. before before anyone's like written records, uh, this specific race, however, was like advanced enough to be able to create 
these books. So um, it's not a time before written records. It's a time when <laughs> they were the only ones writing the written records. Yes. Yes, yes. But they're like inbound books and all things like that, which okay. brings into question were they time travelers? Who knows? Huh. Uh, um, I guess while we're here, uh, so concentration for me is on fly, but I will cast Comprehend Languages. Um, and in doing so, I'll kind of do a quick scan of like just the general books and everything. And is if there's any like specific books relating to like, yeah, like our situation with like the Demiurge and planes of emotions and spells, because we love spells. Cool. You're reading this 200 page book uh, in, in written in Netherese and it appears to be one single spell. Oh. The whole, the whole, the whole I'll, book. The whole I'll, book. I'll take that book. Yes. Okay. Um, and there's probably like some history books also written by them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I'll take that too. Um, <laughs> but is there anything specific to like planes and stuff? Or is that maybe in the things that we shoveled into the bag, maybe? Um. I'm going to roll for that. No, there is nothing about the planes that you get from Netherese. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just keep shoveling books and then joke here. Uh, ready to go? We can study these outside of this place. Yeah, let's go. Or, or do you want to explore a bit more or, or just in and out? Uh, nah. I don't think there's anything for us here. Shakir, roll another um, d20 for me. Uh, okay, so that oh, shoot, cool. no, isn't this the whole thing with the echo things that appear? Or no? <laughs> uh, 19. Okay, yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> um, you were looking for a book before. There was a specific number book thing that you were um, trying to find. I don't remember the exact. Were you at the Dewey number. Decimal System? <laughs> <laughs> I think. Book to try to find. Would I, I remember this before? Uh, I don't think he mentioned it out loud. There's this book okay. with like the number seven or something. Am I getting this right? Seven heroes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, well, for some reason, just peek here, just um, and you have it. You found it this time. Nice, nice. Let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, um, I'm back. We go through the portal. Yeah. Cruiser, you can close it now. Thank you, Zach. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> I I surprisingly remember things that I don't think I'm supposed to be remembering. But okay, uh, but as you're exiting, you hear you listen a bit. Um, with and what appears, what sounds to be like a large army outside. Like you've seen the illusions of this army before, but they appear much, much closer. Well, that's fun. Yeah. Enjoy as you exit the <laughs> portal. Uh, okay, close it, please. Close it. Okay. Just close the portal. There's apparently All some right. yes. coming. Alright, uh, What? Uh, okay, yes, really anyways. We got some books. I can sort through these now, but it's definitely in this weird old language of uh, Netherese. Uh, it's surprising that it's actually there, but not also surprising because it's fresh. Um, you know, the heroes one in Netherese too? Yes. Oh, I see. <laughs> oh. So I guess I'll be reading a lot. <laughs> you know, it's never uh, easy to find information. True. You're not wrong. Um, <laughs> So I guess all the information is going to go through you, Seth. Um, do you want me to read that book for you, or did you have yes, something please. that you wanted me to look at? OK. Can Joe even read? I don't <laughs> think so. Last time we said you were illiterate. I think I can understand basic words now. Yeah. Good, good. Okay. Joe here <laughs> learns to read Netherese, and it's the only language he can read and write in. That he would be dope. To revise the dead language. Uh, but okay. Um, um, how long does comprehend languages last? One oh, hour, but I can keep casting cast, it. Yeah, because it's a ritual. Well, like, it, it is a ritual, yeah. But then I can also just use spells like succeeded. But yeah, it is a ritual. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, history book. History book. Yes. 
I will recount everything I, I get from this. Also, I found this really cool, like, very long spell book thing that I'll have to look into, too. It's really cool, but oh, it's very long. It sounds kind of dangerous. True. Sounds very dangerous. But knowledge. <laughs> knowledge is power, and with great power comes great responsibility. Yusuf um, might not be physically strong, but he has knowledge. Okay. <laughs> There's this one specific section on um, Yaldabaoth, also known as the Demiurge, also known as Sackless, also known as Samuel, known by so many different names. Um, and in this Netherese book, it talks about the, the history, which you already know about the Obriths chaining up the, oh, sorry, no, tricking the god into releasing the Oberitz into this plane. And as a result, it was imprisoned by the Celestials. Um, it talks about how the Oberitz continued living in the abyss for a while until they were kicked out of their lair. Um, and struggling to find another location to stay in, they entered the prime material world of Alpaz. And there they continued to spread with uh, the help of this one creature. It is a gargantuan black blob. It is basically formless and can fit in and through anything. And what it kills, it absorbs and turns into another um, Oberith. Uh, not mm, like it itself, but um, yeah. Um, the way that it's described in the book, I don't know if, if Andy has told the rest of the party, but probably uh, Laren knows that what they encountered was similar in description. Um, and essentially what their plan has been is to corrupt the Demiurge or Yaldabaoth into doing its bidding to essentially release it from its shackles and give it back its power so that it will remain indebted to them. Um, but also just because Yaldabaoth has been going mad under imprisonment and under their influence, um, which probably explains a lot of things about him. So presumably that's what we might have to face. I see. Interesting. Okay. Um, giving a quick scan over the spellbook thing, what do I gather from that? Okay. Okay. It's. I, I will like also maybe decide after reading if I want to tell everyone else or not, but we'll see. Okay. It's a 10th level spell. Oh, okay, that's oh. fun. And what you know <laughs> about 10th level spells is that no one's been able or allowed to cast them. It is well, ever said. Since that one dude became a god. Yeah. Um, well, ever since Mistra, the god of magic, um, was reborn, well, she technically died because of something. We don't know what it is. Uh, but when she was reborn, she decided not to allow anyone, any spells beyond 10th. Oh. It's the dude who became a god, right? Oh, like, obviously, so none cool. of my characters know this. Yeah. It's that one dude who was an It's that one dude, yeah. I remember watching a YouTube video on this. Anyways. Me um, too. <laughs> Thanks, Zach. Yeah. We're watching the same dude YouTube videos as we do. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Uh, so, a powerful <laughs> spell, but I'll hang on to this for now. This is very important. I'll definitely flip through everything so I can maybe just kind of internalize it in my head. Um, but then I'll store that away safely into the bag for sure. Um, then also, I guess, giving a sc scan over the seven heroes. Do we um, learn about Would you like heroes? to cast like detect magic or anything on, on the books? Oh, wait, you're not wrong. <laughs> Says Bruiser. <laughs> oh, um, are you sure it's a good idea to just be putting that on your bag? I mean, why don't you 
cast detect magic or something. Well, I don't really have detect magic, but I do have that one little like or stone thingy that can. I have detect magic. magic. You do? Okay, that's perfect. Actually, <laughs> can you use that, please? I can't read, but I go. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Are, what are the vibes? Uh, it's actually a mimic. No, I'm kidding. Um, oh. There's there's no magic tied to it. Okay. I'm like, okay, it passes the vibe check. Passes the vibe check? Okay. Hog uh, champ. Because, yeah, these all could have been cursed, actually. And that would have been fun. Hoggers, <laughs> am I right? Hoggers. Hoggers. God damn it. <laughs> Man. Oh. Uh, but, yeah, eight. seven heroes. Uh, is that the last one of note? The seven heroes one? Mm -hmm. The others are just random books. I guess what are you trying to find out about these seven heroes? What what are you what are you, what I guess well, Jakir I mean, like, would be asking. Yeah, well I mean like if I go through like the book and stuff, like what do I generally get from it? Yeah. Because like if Jokir is asked, well, Jokir, would you like me to read the book that you cook? The whole yes. book. Story time. Story time. Okay. <laughs> the whole book. Um how long is it? Um <laughs> It's actually a picture book. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Which makes it very long. Actually, it's a flip book, so you can see through like all the different stages. It's a pop up. Uh, what did they say? Pop up book. Oh. <laughs> but with another ease. <laughs> I um. Oh. I'm actually gonna go back at my word. The only time I'm gonna retcon because it's like a tiny thing. It's not in Netherese. It's in Underdark, Undercommon, uh, which is a the common language spoken in the Underdark. Uh, and it's it's Loth's view. Of what happened? Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> um, it was. Wait, it so the other wait, so the other book is still in Netherese, but this. this the other book is still in Netherese. Um, because Loth is the one probably recounting a lot of these, and it talks about like how um she tried to choose a champion and raise uh, that champion to allow the drow back onto the surface and all of these kinds of things. Um, but they were stopped by um, by first two people on one side, which then group with a lot of other, uh, a lot of other, you know, <laughs> scoundrels, according to her. Oh, I'm just trying to think back. I'm like, I don't remember well. And but. apparently, all of uh, apparently two of them were directly correlated, or had some connection with Asmodeus. Oh, I get it. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, and Who was a drow? No, it was it's directly drow things. I think it's just no, it's in general basic, that we got in. Basic. Oh, if if you remember Lumiseth, Lumiseth actually is a drow. drow. He's a Zakir. Oh yeah, oh. the drow kind of thing. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. I, I totally forgot. Like a oh. evil dragon dude. He's a yeah, dragon, the dragon boy, dark dragon the boy. The dragon, the dragon boy. He's a drow dragon. Drow. Yeah. yeah, a drow dragon, which is a Zakil. Okay. This is what I remember. A drow game. Does she, what does Lo say? The name? Do you have the names of the champions? They. <laughs> Did names translate? Okay, I'm gonna roll for this. Or did, did, does that get wiped I mean, from like, the, okay. the? Can I translate badly? Like my okay, like my name in Korean is just Park. Exactly. Exactly. Please translate badly. Um. Uh. It's. Well, it's. Like a it's you to think of them. I just really no, want no. No. It's. It's. Name. It's Sivan, and Atter. Atter. That's right. Oh, sorry. <laughs> not Atter. It's Atter. A C H. Wait. A C H. A -C -H T apostrophe T R, because for some reason Aster. undercommon like light Aster. loves using a lot of apostrophes. <laughs> so Sivan and Aster. Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Does it mention the names of the other people, or no? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> you, still, you still have a druid. You have a blood. I think you should just be Jock. Yeah, that's what I was. That's exact what I was thinking for Jacarius. It's just Jock. <laughs> um, I'm like, I wonder who that is. The other one is Millie. Uh, Millie. The other one is Wolgay. Wolgay. <laughs> um, the other one is Kiran. I think. Am I missing anyone? What is... Who's Kiran? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I wonder. I, I, I don't think I'm missing anyone else. Uh, that's you pretty are. good. I am? Oh, um, that one's easy. It's just Baron. Like, actually Baron. 
<laughs> yeah. Man, I love easy character names. So, oh, yeah. Uh, I guess I'll recount that. Do you want to okay. look back, by the way? Just here you go. Uh, you can hold on to that. Um, I'll just keep the rest of my... I'll just... I'll save the rest of the other books for another day. Maybe I can find some, like, recipes or something. I don't know. Um, From but, this? I don't know. Maybe like Fraz likes to cook. He spends a lot of time on his own. Maybe so, like, right as well. Spelled... Doesn't he have the screaming Jack. fluence? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's Jacqueline, but without no, the No, that's lens. exactly yeah. what I was thinking. <laughs> oh, I forgot the C. You're my bad. Thank you. This. Thank you. But yes. <laughs> okay, um, so we got some information um, about the whole Yaldo situation. This 10th level spell I'll hold on to just in case we need to look at it later. I don't think I can use it at all, but I'd rather not have that in the hands of, you know, yeah. Um, so, okay. But that's also concerning if they do have access to this. Did I get a little like, because I know it's a 10th level spell, but did I get a gist of what it does? No. No, I have to like really study it? No. Okay. How long would that take? Uh -huh. That's um, like a while, right? You currently do not know just how long it will take. And yeah. you don't even know if at this point, like at this level of strength, if you can comprehend what it is. Oh, for sure. Okay. That's above me for now, but it's but concerning kind of to say the least. You don't know how to do math. I know. With, My power of trigonometry can't work. With the power of... With, with math. And the power math. of integrals. Well, it depends what kind of math. Like number theory and shit. Anyways. So I guess now we're on to the setting up for the whole ritual thing, right? So do we want to venture out there? And then we set up, we get a, what do we want to do? We get a portal in there. I think we make a little like hidey hole or something, right? <laughs> hidey hole? What type of hidey hole? <laughs> well, we're... Like I, some, we need to have our own little area because we also need to watch out because we have the whole situation with the worms. Wait, Jokir, you were friends with Kayak, right? Kayak. <laughs> yes. Um, maybe, do we want to try to contact him? Who the fuck is Kayak? <laughs> the worm. Worm. Oh, worm. worm. Your worm, your worm best friend. The one the you worm. gave your number. Oh, he is my buddy. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's been two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what I think. I dimension door with Bruiser down there. We didn't portal. kill his dad, though. He did. He did kill but his dad. But I think dad. that's why we need to make sure he's on our side. I didn't so kill his dad. Get information. True. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so then we definitely have to get back out. Jokir can get around easily, but then I can also start, start setting up a maybe... I don't know. I did kill one of their dads. Like, I don't know if I can, I'm really allowed to be there anymore. I don't know if anyone... Well... We need to get information. Oh, I totally right? didn't kill that. Yeah, we need to find the sacrifice, sacrificial room. Yeah. So we still need to explore. I actually woke up with a revelation of new spells. Um, but I have this interesting new thing called Passful. Um, so at, like, I can only use it once at the moment. But, like, I can just make a passage appear in, like, stone or ceiling or floor. That's, like, five feet wide, eight feet tall and 20 feet deep so just an instant passage um so if we need to get through quickly i can do something with that but wouldn't that get us from the first chamber down to the tower thing because it was stacked like that i, I don't i'm not Zach, sure using map it. can i do this from where <laughs> sorry Okay, so 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 the first chamber where we were in with the statue, isn't it like pretty much directly above the altar place because it goes down and around? But this Maybe is not. up to like twenty feet deep. Yeah, it's um, only twenty feet deep. The oh, first just layer is at like sixty feet deep. So yeah, okay. 
but yeah, I was thinking just in case we need like a direct out in terms of like pass like smaller passages, but okay. um, I huh because right now we need to get information about the place and the what's it called uh, the ritual. So if we send people down there, we can maybe have people in disguise or maybe just trying to sneak around to do this. Who here is stealthy? I, I'll look at Laren. Uh, are are you stealthy or? Am I stealthy? You, you yes. hear from the you, you hear you hear from the rooftop. You hear from not rooftop treetops. I am. You are okay. So. Why is he in a treetop? <laughs> he's a bird. He's a bird. <laughs> Last time we went down there. Why is... did he just come to the ground and talk? He <laughs> prefers okay. the trees. If I switch armors, I am also kind of stealthy. Not that so stealthy, my stealthy. main concern right now is that we can't necessarily talk with them or understand them. However, um, if we can ha somehow get the like, if you had like your phone on or something, we had some sort of tether of communication. I could try to decipher what they're saying using comprehend languages, right? Or does that work for spoken things? I believe so. You uh, mean like see. a phone? <laughs> No, wait. Like, I can talk to them, yeah. right? No, but you can talk to them. But we need to just overhear. But then, if we we need the stealthy people, so like if Laren and what's it called? Creek. I don't want to say Craig. Creek. Creek. There you go. If uh, Laren and Creek go in, and you guys had like a phone or something to just relay the information, Jokir can also go around, but he just doesn't need the that relay as well. If that makes sense. I see. I don't because then I can translate to understand because you guys can't understand what they're like their monsters speak, right? Or can you? Uh no. Or, do I we know what like language that they were speaking before? Let me double check. Wasn't it primordial? Was it yes, I think it was. Can you understand primordial? Zag and quick, not me. Okay. Not um Okay, what if so... what if I just what if I just talked to them and whenever they said something I repeated it and then said my response? Uh, wait, Bruiser, how how far can you uh summon your Cause... echo? Um, my echo I believe can be a mile. A mile. Um, uh, it's it's in meters. <laughs> Because we one other thing is like we can send no, a bruiser not. echo. It's in. not. It's in feet. It's a thousand feet. Yeah. Why, why? Because we can send a bruiser echo in through the portal and just have you through that. Because remember, like distances work weirdly with portals. Correct. So, I can I can be up two thousand feet away. Okay. So, so we have meters. okay. So a bruiser miles. can send echo in, and then you can also like speak out whatever you hear. We have the two stealthy boys who will also kind of like relay information. And then we have, what's it called, Jokir, who can also just understand, but then also telepathically communicate to relay any information. And then I can be on the backside trying to decipher everything if needed. Okay, you're, you're saying right now is split the party in three different ways. Well, not necessarily. Yay! It's just That's always gone it's, well. it's stealthy group. As well as home base. Yes, it's Kusa still splitting back. a party in like three different ways. Well, it's, Yusuf's not going to do anything. It's literally just you guys, and I'll just be back uh, just deciphering things. Pretty... But how, how about we <laughs> we all go down into the, the cave thing and then try to look for the room, and only like the people who could understand slash need to self like get closer. So we're okay. all kind of in the same place, just in case something goes. There's not a lot of cover, though, right? Well, caves, fair. Right? We could mold earth a whole True, world. mold earth. Oh, yeah, we have usually another mold earth person, but that's fine. Um, They're still getting oh, ready. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. <laughs> um, and okay. he has invisibility. Did you, oh, no, what are we going to do? Damn it. Preparing. Andy's getting ready in the bathroom. I think it's hour okay. two now. Can we just assume that he casts spells on us? Is that too mean? We kind that's, of need some invisibility right now. That's well, so we can oh. still, well, that's why I say we can just stealthly get around. We don't need to depend on this. What is Rowan? The moment we do anything... Like, like, Rowan does not have invisibility. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Do um, still have... Uh, Ken Dragon? Did we lose yes, Ken Dragon? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We, we got the dragon back. Okay. 
Okay, so I'll just make sure to have a comprehensive <laughs> languages running, but I'll make a dome. I can make it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can actually store a dome, right? I yes. can. Um, okay, so I will precast a dome into my ring. And then the moment we get in there, I'll do it. But then they can still burrow under it, but at least we have some sort of protection, okay? Or protection home base. Always use protection. Yes. Um, to kill, look yes, for the camera and say. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I'll work <laughs> towards making that little dome. And then when we get inside, I'll try to precast another dome into my ring. So then that'll take 11 minutes, but then you guys can start exploring. Is that fine? Yes. OK. Um, I guess on to the Whew. place. Uh, and so continues their story of chaos as these unlikely heroes unfold the mysteries that hide in the world of Alpaz. Thank you for listening to this session of Alpaz First Ascension. Keep a look out for our next sessions on the Night Chaos channel where we release episodes every Saturday. Disclaimer, we do not own the music. All music and sound effects are owned by Michael Gelfi. If you like his music, please check out his YouTube channel and Patreon in the description and comments below. Thanks Michael for letting us use your music.